Meg Stamp and Sharon. Have I got some fun cards to share with you today. I have like five or six. This is one of my easy peasy series. I hope that you will have fun with me while I make some of these cards with you today. And I encourage you, let's make some of these on your own. If you're new to my channel, I wanna welcome you. I invite everyone to hit the subscribe button below and then hit the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. If you have a crafty friend that would enjoy these ideas, why don't you share it with them? Everybody is loving my Easy Peasy series. If you currently do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can find ways to contact me in the description box below. I have not used my stamp set, Beautiful Bouquet, in quite a while. And I've just decided it's springtime. Let's do some flower cards. Um, and there's so many sentiments in here. Surely you can find one sentiment or five that you would be able to use to make your cards. So I pulled out my Bratz ink pads and I decided, what colors do I want? Well, I decided right away I did not want blue flowers. I can do flowers of all these colors and then I can use the greeny apple green for my leaves. On my first card, I did use Memento. So these are the colors that I chose for all of my cards today. Whenever I'm getting ready for a video, I like to have everything prepared. But I thought, since these are gonna be easy peasy cards, that I would tell you to do the same thing I did. Pick your ink colors, cut five pieces of Whisper White, and I cut these at four and a half, by three and a half, okay? So I cut all five of them. Then I cut my layers. I picked my colors that I wanted. And I cut them at four and three quarters by three and three quarters. All easy peasy instructions. I have five card bases that measure five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. So I have all those ready. And I, like I said, I typically do this for a video anyway, but it's what you can do at home to make your cards. Now, I'm gonna show you the first card. Notice that I put a black layer. As I was writing my blog post for today's video, I decided I would tell you that you can buy one package of cardstock in this assortment of colors in the Bratz collection. Um, I went ahead and added the black because I did put this card on my blog. However, on the video, we're gonna change it up like I like to do. So instead of using basic black, I'm going to use Melon Mambo. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment with Melon Mambo. Then I'm gonna stamp some of the greenery. Then we just start adding flowers. Using Poppy Parade and Melon Mambo so far. That's too big. Each card's gonna look different, and that's what's so fun about it. Using Gorgeous Grape. Flirty Flamingo. This is a great little flower to use for fill-in areas. And now more leaves. Next, we're just gonna adhere the layers. Me and that black ink pad are not getting along well. Does anybody, does, it needs a new home. It does not like living here anymore. I don't understand what is wrong with me and that ink pad lately. At first I thought I over inked it, so I really took a paper towel, wiped it down. We're still not getting along. There we go, card number one. Now 
we're going to take the big stem of flowers and we're just going to stamp two of those. With our granny apple green. And then here's like a little a bud, I guess it's called. We're just gonna add a few of those. I mean, it's just so much fun. It's just stamping. It's so relaxing, so much fun. Now, I need my sentiment. I decided I wanted a sentiment on this, so I actually cut a little layer, and I wanted to stamp. We're going to use Poppy Parade. I'm going to use Poppy Parade. And I am making so many thank you cards because... Two to four times a week, someone has come over and brought me groceries right now and, you know, picking up things that need to go to the post office. And I am just so grateful for these people in my life right now. And I decided I hadn't used um, Mango Melody. And then I'm just gonna add some snail. We're gonna add it to our Poppy Parade layer. And you can just cut this to size, whatever sentiment you're using out of the stamp set. I did pop these up with dimensionals, but if you don't have any, you don't have to. Okay, we're gonna add this to our Poppy Parade layer first. I'm going to add this to our card. Making sure it's open the right way. Look at that. Thanks a bunch. That's how I feel right now. Thanks a bunch. Okay, let's make another one. This one's super fun. Super fun and quick. Okay, so for this one, I have this, it's like a bunch of flowers. And I'm actually, I'm going to use the same ink pad because I don't want to go get another uh, ink pad from another family. And I'm just stamping off. And then I'm gonna bring in the other cluster of flowers. I kind of missed a few down here, let's see. I'm just stamping off and each card's gonna look different, I promise. I need to round it up just a little bit. There we go. And this one's gonna be a happy birthday card. These cards are all so easy to do, and you can do these whether you're just starting out, you only have a few supplies, maybe you only have three stamp pads. Just make all your cards with what you have. We're gonna add this to Granny Apple Green. My Easy Peasy Series cards are just meant to help get you stamping. Um, if, you're, if you've been stamping for a while and you need to make a bunch of cards, 
These are great layouts and you can use any floral stamp set that you have. Um, however, if you want this one, you can find that on my store um, and that is in the description box below. Okay, so I really liked it, but I was like, we need a bow. Now, there is a bow that comes in the stamp set, but it was kind of small. And I had some crinkle ribbon, so I decided to use it. I always like to leave my ribbon on the bolt so I don't waste a whole bunch. Get the bow the size I want. We're gonna cut it. And so that's really the only waste I have. We're gonna use some glue dots. And I don't wanna cover up the birthday. There we go. Look how sweet. Okay, this one's gonna be similar when we first start. If your stamp start, if your uh, block starts getting dirty like that, you might wanna go ahead and clean it in between so that you don't get what I call trash on your card. Okay, so now we're gonna stamp different color flowers. And I'm gonna use that bud again. Well, let's see, let's put it right here. I cleaned it. So we're gonna add some more buds. Bring in some Mango Melody. Okay, now we want our Melon Mambo. And our yellow. Oh, and a Daffodil Delight flower. Okay, now we're gonna get our little flower again. And we're gonna do I cleaned my stamp again. And I'm gonna come in with Daffodil Delight or Mango Melody, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, so we have all of our flowers stamped. Now we need a sentiment. Couldn't have picked a better friend than you. I decided since I had some pearls, if you had some jewels, um, you could use those. I am using the Poppy Parade Dark Stampin' Blend. And I'm, I'm coloring them now because even though these are um, alcohol-based, they do take a few seconds to dry. And I have been known to get that color on my card base, so we don't want that. All right, so we're gonna add some snail. And we're using Gorgeous Grape. I loved picking one family of colors. You know, if someone is just starting off stamping and they say, I don't know what to buy, I tell them to pick a family, pick one color family, um, buy what you can. If you can only buy two or three stamp pads, then do that and then buy the coordinating cardstock. But I love the fact that Stampin' Up! does sell the whole pad assortment and they sell um, the packs of cardstock to match. Okay, so now what we need is to add our pearls. And since I have a little smudge of ink right there, I don't know what that was, we're just gonna hide it. I call myself the queen of boo-boos for a reason. I know how to fix them. <laughs> okay, so I think we'll put one right here. Okay, what is that, card number four? So I'm gonna be using some punches on this one and I'm gonna punch out my pretty label punch. And a one and a half inch circle punch. And I'm gonna stamp thanks a bunch again. Now I'm gonna teach you something fun. We're gonna place it in the center. 
and we're going to use a pencil and we're going to draw a circle. Now, in case you're wondering, this punch will not reach all the way to the center. It's close, but it doesn't. I tried that. I thought that would be a great paper saving technique to teach you, but nope, that wouldn't work. And I'm using that to decide where to stamp my flowers and my leaves. I'm going to add a few of the gorgeous grape. Mm -hmm. Now, something that I want to tell you, the center of these flowers, I could go get my black memento that, you know, we're not speaking right now, but I'm not. I'm going to use the gorgeous grape and I'm going to stamp in the center and it looks almost black. <laughs> That'll teach that memento pad. I don't know. Oh, we are not doing well. Okay, so now we're gonna do our greenery. There's another little bud looking thing, but I decided I needed different shapes of leaves. So I used it as a leaf. I don't know what it is, but I think it's a bud, but we're, it's just still fun. It gives more texture um, and, and just a different look to our cards. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now I, um, on my original card, I added some ribbon because I stamped up higher. But as you can see on this one, I did not. So I'm not gonna add the ribbon, but there's an option. So we're gonna take and add this to our Daffodil Delight layer. Add it to our card base. And you know what? At this point, you could even change it. Let's see what that looks like. <gasps> I'm going to change it that way, and it'll look different than this one. Now we all have a different kind of card. Okay, so all we're gonna do now is we're gonna add, pop this up with some dimensionals, and then we need one more thing left. Put this on right here. We're gonna bring in our pearls again. We're gonna add some pearls. And I'm gonna show you the difference because I did do something different on this card than I did on the other ones. So here is the first card. Here's the card that we just made. And then this is the card I made before the video. I sure hope that I inspired you with the beautiful bouquet stamp set, these bright springy colors, and just the easy layout that you can just keep making cards like I did. I was only going to do a couple, and I couldn't stop. Happy stamping, y'all!